Cassie Smith works as a Hooters girl. She's been there for two years, and her managers have had nothing but compliments when it comes to her rapport with customers. In fact, they gave her a glowing review, but recently said that she, uh, she says that they told her they had an issue with her weight, and they put her on probation, saying that she didn't shed some pounds, she'd lose her job. Now, Cassie is 5 feet 8. She weighs 132 pounds. She wears an extra small t-shirt size. And just to give you some perspective, using the height weight table from the Federal Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee, the acceptable weight range for a woman Cassie size is 125 pounds to 164 pounds. And the average weight for a woman who's 5'4", four, uh, 4 inches shorter than Cassie is 164 pounds, some 32 pounds heavier than Cassie. And Cassie joins us live. It's nice to see you. Thanks very much for being here. And let's just get this uh, out in the open right off the bat because, you know, Hooters has good wings, but folks are going to Hooters as much for the pretty waitresses as they are for the food. Am I right? You're right. <laughs> okay, so your bosses call you in for your review. What did they say to you exactly? Um, they didn't say anything to me. There was two women on a conference call from Atlanta who had this discussion with me. These were women who worked for the Hooters, the corporate headquarters of Hooters. And what Correct. exactly did these women tell you over this conference call? They went over my entire evaluation, um, stating my good points, you know, strong points, things I need to work on, everything else. And then, then when they got to uniform fitting is when they went further to how I needed to improve the way my tank top and shorts fit me. Are these women that you had ever met before, or these were just voices on no. the other end of a phone? Voices on the phone. Now, had they, you know, did they talk to you specifically about your size, about your weight? I mean, has your appearance changed recently at all? Um, nope. Actually, since my hire date two years ago, I was probably about 10 pounds heavier till I am now, 10 to 15 pounds heavier. So you're lighter now than you were when they first Correct. hired you, and yet they're telling yes. you that you need to lose weight. Did they tell you how much weight they wanted you to lose? No, they did not. They, they gave me 30 days uh, uh, weight probation like type thing. Uh, they offered me a free membership to a gym, and they hmm. said that if in 30 days I improved uh, what I needed to work on, which was my short and tank top size fitting, that they would leave me alone, and if I didn't, they would separate me from the company. We reached out to Hooters. We asked them to comment on this story because we knew we'd be talking to you. They gave us this statement. Uh, this is from a VP of marketing. We will not make any comment on a current employee except to say that no employee in Michigan has been counseled about their weight. However, we will say that our practice of upholding an image standard based on appearance, attitude, and fitness for Hooters girls is both legal and fair, not unlike the standard used by the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders or Radio City Music Hall Rockettes. Uh, you know, I guess, I, here's the question, Cassie. When you go to work at a restaurant like Hooters, you know that you're not walking into an IHOP, just to use a, you know, another, another example. You know you're going to work for Hooters, right? Correct, yes. So you must expect, or there must be some kind of expectation, that your appearance will, will play a role during the course of your employment there. Am I right? Absolutely, which is why I would never wear something I didn't feel like I was comfortable in to work every single day. So where do things stand? Uh, I know you've consulted an attorney. You're looking into possible discrimination uh, charges here. What's going on? You're still working at the restaurant, aren't you? I'm currently still employed. I'm sorry, you're currently? Still employed. You're still employed there. And what would you, yes. like, what would you like to see happen? I don't know. I was asked if I wanted to tell my story, and I, I think it's horrible what they do to girls. I think it's horrible the way they make girls feel. I, I've seen it happen to a very, very dear friend of mine, and I mean, I don't believe that I put on weight. I don't believe that this is fair. I don't know where it came from, but I, I'm not a part of it anymore. Well, we've been showing your pictures while we've been talking to you, and I must say, you're a beautiful young woman. Uh, Thank I think you. that a lot of a lot of people out there would give their right arms to to look exactly like you do right now. So keep us posted on what happens, Cassie. Will you? I will. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks for coming on, Cassie Smith, who is a Hooters waitress outside of Detroit. Jane, over to you. Rick, thanks. We'll do.